What's up everybody, my name is Moss Norman and today we're gonna to talk about one of the highest paying tech jobs that you've never heard of, a DevOps engineer. First off, let's get down to brass tacks. How much does a DevOps engineer make? According to a report published by Glassdoor in 2019, the average salary for open DevOps engineering roles was $137,000. And the DevOps engineering role was listed as number nine in the top 10 highest paying tech jobs in that same report. Additionally, if you just Google highest paying tech jobs, you'll find multiple articles that list DevOps engineering and DevOps engineer roles as the top 10 highest paying roles in tech. Which begs the question, why is a DevOps engineer paid so much money? To be a DevOps engineer, it requires knowledge across disciplines, both in software development and IT operations and IT systems management. The intersection of these disciplines is where DevOps engineers operate. But right now, there's not very many people that fill that requirement where they have knowledge in multiple disciplines across software development and IT operations. And since the number of people who meet that requirement is scarce, it drives up the average salary of that role. Now your next question might be, well, what the heck does a DevOps engineer even do? The DevOps engineering role is not well defined. In some companies, the DevOps engineer includes a very broad set of responsibilities. And then in other companies, they have a very specific small set of responsibilities. Now having said that, there are typically some common patterns found in almost every single DevOps engineering role. For instance, DevOps engineers are almost always responsible for some sort of automation, whether it be test automation or infrastructure provisioning automation or software process automation, automation is almost always included as part of a DevOps engineering, uh, uh, as part of a DevOps engineer's responsibilities. Also related to automation are tool integrations. DevOps engineers are often integrating various tools together to create bi-directional traceability between tools. DevOps engineers are also very often responsible for the build and release processes of a software product. And finally, a DevOps engineer will often be responsible for defining the software processes that should be followed by the software development team for a specific software product. So that includes like defining a branching strategy for the development team and defining what tools they should use uh, for version control and source code management and how to use those particular tools. I wouldn't be surprised if the average salary for a DevOps engineer made your mouth water and made you uh, motivated to learn more about DevOps engineering and uh, how to get into DevOps engineering. So if you are interested, uh, please consider taking a look at my other video on how to become a DevOps engineer. I included a link below in the description. Um, and if you like this video, please consider throwing a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.